Hey there, welcome to our channel. We're thrilled that you're tuning in for another video. Before we get started, we just wanted to take a moment to express our gratitude. We appreciate all of our viewers and subscribers who have been supporting us and following along with our content. If you find our videos informative and valuable, like and subscribe. <laughs> By doing so, you'll be helping us to reach more people and spread awareness about important issues like open records violations. So, without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. Robert Wilson, a member of a trifecta of officers from the so-called esteemed Richmond County Sheriff's Office, was apprehended subsequent to perpetrating a physical assault on an individual, viciously targeting the victim's visage and abdomen within the confines of a correctional elevator. In response to these egregious actions, the Richmond County Sheriff's Office has taken measures to relegate Wilson to administrative leave, a decision made in the wake of an ongoing inquiry conducted by Internal Affairs. It is worth noting that Wilson was inaugurated into the law enforcement profession on 3 December, 2016. In a recent development on December 15, 2022, a formal appeal for access to the body camera footage concerning an episode involving Robert Wilson, which allegedly involved the usage of racially charged language, was dispatched through official open records channels. The aforementioned inquiry was directed to the public information officer and city attorney Tamika Haynes, since it has been brought to light that the Richmond County Sheriff's Office has purportedly enlisted the city attorney to dissuade and repel any additional requests. The request in question pertained to a specific event that occurred on the evening of March 3, 2020, at 11 o'clock post-meridium. During this time, several officers were summoned to address a contentious verbal exchange that transpired at the Country Club, a popular bar and dance establishment situated within a bustling shopping center along Washington Road in Augusta, in close proximity to the esteemed Augusta National Golf Club. On December 20, 2022, a response to the aforementioned request was provided by Internal Affairs Sergeant John Perry. In his response, Sergeant Perry relayed that his office was unable to provide the requested video footage, citing OCGA 15 11 708 b as the basis for this denial. However, it should be noted that this statute does not qualify as a lawful exemption under the Georgia Open Records Law. This particular law pertains solely to non-relevant juvenile court documents and thus has no bearing on the requested footage. The Georgia Open Records Act, as outlined in Article 50, 18, 72, 20, a, provides guidance on the permissible exemptions from disclosure of certain records. This includes records that contain sensitive personal information such as social security numbers, mother's birth name, credit card information, debit card information, bank account information, account numbers, passwords, financial data or information, insurance or medical information, unlisted telephone numbers, personal email addresses or cellular telephone numbers, day and month of birth, and information regarding public utility, television, internet, or telephone accounts held by private customers. It is important to note that any information falling under this exemption must be redacted prior to disclosure of any requested record under the purview of the Georgia Open Records Law. Here we highlight the must be redacted prior to disclosure. On December 23, 2022, a response email was sent that exposed the unlawful exemptions John Perry made on the Robert Wilson body cam. This is a clear violation of the Georgia Open Records Act, and it underscores the importance of staying vigilant when it comes to open records requests. This video has demonstrated that internal affairs and other agencies may resort to illegal measures to suppress the release of materials. We cannot allow these instances to deter us from seeking transparency in our local law enforcement and government agencies. It's crucial that we remain vigilant, especially when it comes to agencies that are responsible for enforcing open records laws. Remember, we have the right to access public information, and we must persist in exercising that right to ensure that our government remains accountable and transparent. So stay informed, stay engaged, and stay vigilant. Thank you for watching and be safe.